agents are planning to unleash their best men against us. Welcome back. It's been a pleasure. Need anything? McLafferty's been riding asses again. Let her lay low. Keeping quiet. Things are getting stranger every day. I'll hold up here. Don't be long. Let's roll out then. You find any evidence yet? I'm not gonna wait forever. So there's just one more safe to crack? Hope you can get to it. Say what you will about the two leading ladies. They watch their lockers like crows. Still, you got one, so the other might not be impossible. If you get both, then let's talk. And I appreciate you putting yourself at risk like this. Thanks. All right, then. I'll hold up here. Don't be long. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best. Ah, I'm just kidding. Go on in.
keep moving. You got a problem? Let's roll out then. You find any evidence yet? I'm not gonna wait forever. No shit. There it is. The blood, the motive, as clear as day. They must have penned these with snake venom. But we got it. Now what? Sure, this damns them, but only if someone listens. Well, Jackson and the Mojave Outpost could get it to the folks in the West. I wouldn't trust anyone closer to the Colorado. And the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs have their heart back West. Not sure it'll do any good, though. All right, let's do it. Listen to what he has to say. Hey. 
Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. What is it? Let me see. All right, this is... This explains a lot of the lost caravans. I thought it was Legion work, but... I can, if you make me a promise. I need you to swear you won't take revenge on Gloria or Alice. If you do, then your case is over, and we can't see the justice is done. I know some things are hard to let go, but you and Miss Cassidy need to understand that. Hear me? That'll have to do. God, what a mess. People turning against each other when the Mojave's at risk of falling? If the Republic's sinkhole progress doesn't kill us, greed will. Thanks for bringing me this. I know revenge must have been tempting. For what it's worth, I appreciate you didn't shed any more blood. We need to save our strength for the Legion. I'll do what I can. And those folks that got killed need to be answered for. Well, that's settled, I suppose. Feels... I don't know. I guess I feel relieved. I don't know what I feel. Wait, that's not true. I think the NCR back west, when riled, is gonna be the worst enemy the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan ever had. They're all so mired in procedure and paper out there. The kind of evidence we gave is going to be worse than shooting them. I think that settles accounts with me, and my men. That was some tricky political maneuvering, but worth it, even if it takes a few years. All right, then. Better be rock salt than that, or you're asking for an ass kicking. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Well, hobby's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. Waited too long to finish this. Last loose end, all wrapped up. Hi, I'm John Baptiste, and you're about to stop being a pain in my ass. Ah! Ah! Oh, that was fun. Did you see the look on that bitch's face? Priceless. Anyway, Glory's been antsy lately because that big deal she's been working on is finally going down. If this thing goes down, we'll have it made. Fucking made, I tell you. Talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll want you along. And don't think I forgot your pay. A job well done is its own reward, but it doesn't pay for pussy at the local brothel, does it? Really? We'll see about that. Hey! Whoa!
If you say you're going to gather evidence, then kill the bitches anyway. At least tell me when you change your mind. Now, if you're done fucking around, let's settle accounts the old fashioned way. Don't matter much how we settle this, as long as it gets settled. Just trim the Van Graaff family tree. I think Freeside will breathe a little easier now. Now, on to settle accounts with Alice McLafferty. Putting her down, that would suit me just fine. Can't wait to see the look on her face when I show up. She'll know why. Oh, I'm sure. Killing never felt so good. Could almost hear the dead behind me guiding my hand. Now that that bitch is in hell, they'll have a shot at her too. So what are we waiting for? We've got more work to do. Music to my ears. Welcome back. It's been a pleasure. caravan. Payback's a bitch, ladies. And between Gloria and Alice, that settles accounts as far as I'm concerned. Hope they're in hell right now, blinking, trying to figure out where they fucked up. Don't have to tell me twice. Feel more alive than I ever have. Waited too long to finish this. Last loose end, all wrapped up. Hi, I'm John Baptiste, and you're about to stop being a pain in my ass. Oh, that was fun. Did you see the look on that bitch's face? Priceless. Anyway. Glory's been antsy lately because that big deal she's been working on is finally going down. If this thing... And don't... You got a problem? Good, you're here. Do you remember that package I had you deliver? Well, the client liked the sample and put in a massive order. It's possibly the biggest order we've ever supplied. I've had to repeatedly assure my mother that everything will go smoothly. And that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. We'll be bringing an escort, and I want you on it. What do you say? Perfect. We're still getting everything together, but I can always find a use for idle hands in the meantime. Once we're settled, we'll head out to the rendezvous point. They're taking an awfully long time inspecting the weapons. I'm beginning to think they're doing it just to unnerve us. Don't let them rattle you, though. The deal's almost done. There's just one last piece of business left. Speaking of which, 
I need you to listen to me very carefully. Things are about to get a little crazy. When I give the signal, follow my lead, okay? That's what I like about you. You follow orders, for the most part. Just remember to wait for the signal. I trust you find everything acceptable? Everything seems to be in order. Kaisar will not soon forget this. No, I imagine he won't. It's a trap. Fall back. The commander is down. Good job. I need to work out some last-minute details with our new clients, but after that we'll head back to the rush. I suppose you have a few questions. We made a lot of money, that's what. The Legion paid us to deliver weapons, and the NCR paid us to deliver the Legion. Or some of them, anyway. Caesar has been making overtures to prominent suppliers for some time now. Usually, they're too scared of him to cross him and just pay or flee. I saw an opportunity and negotiated a deal with the NCR. I helped draw some of their enemy's troops into a trap, and they agreed to buy from me. Normally, those stuck-up bastards wouldn't have anything to do with us, but their situation is precarious, and this chance was too tempting. Well... Not exactly. The deal wasn't exactly sanctioned by my mother, but she'll come around when she hears about the profit I made. If she's smart, and she is, believe me, she'll turn this to her own advantage and make a bundle off our new connections in the NCR. Hardly. They've got a lot of soldiers and slaves, but they don't come close to having the amount of wealth the NCR has. When I said we were going to be rich, I meant it. The deal I brokered with the NCR netted me five times what Caesar paid. Keeping Caesar's money was just a bonus. It'll be all I can do to supply the NCR with the amount of weapons they want, so I'll be pretty busy for the foreseeable future. Oh, you're probably wondering if you still have a job. I don't have anything open at the moment, sadly. But we're going to need all the help we can get transporting guns to the NCR. So stop by every now and then, and I might have a delivery job for you. And before I forget, here's your share of the take from the warehouse job. You can keep the armor. Thanks again for all your help. Ugh. You want something? Yeah, you can blame Glory for that mess. She had some fun with the little prick and it ended badly. Now he goes around spreading lies about my sister, which pisses me off. One of these days, I'm going to piss in his skull. You watch. We could do that, but then we'd have to kill his 400 friends too, and that'd just get tiring. Someday he'll make a mistake though, and his friends won't be around to back him up, and then it'll be mine. Unlike most of my brothers and sisters, Mama didn't get sick of my father and get rid of him. He died right before I was born. Mama had liked him so much, she made us use his last name. Said he deserved that much at least, since he never got to meet me or nothing. 
Our family comes from Redding to the west. We deal weapons mostly, but trade other commodities like gold if there's cash in it. Our mother's been running this show for longer than most of us have been alive, but she stays at the home office. We've got branches all over the place, which are run by my brothers and sisters. Mama's real popular with the men folk, both for her money and her looks, which is why there's 10 of us kids in total, all by different fathers. Glory? Glory's fucking crazy. Some of my siblings are real pieces of work, but I'd bet on Glory if she were facing down a death claw with the plastic spoon. She's got the smarts to do whatever she wants, but she and Mama are always button heads, so she gets all the shit jobs. I'm not one for running a business, never really had a head for numbers or smooth talk. My talents are a little more direct. Mama always said that was my gift. When we were kids, the others used to fight over and steal one another's toys. I always broke mine. And if the others messed with me, I broke theirs too. Sometimes I break them even if they were nice to me just to show them what's what. One day, Mama took me aside and said, boy, you're never going to go very far, but you're going to make a whole lot of people come up short. Make it quick. I got shit to do. Then go bother someone else. I got shit to do. My favorite employee returns. What can I do for you? You're welcome here anytime. Keep moving. Anything new happening? New Vegas. Paradise? My ass. I'd remember if I had seen you here before. I'm sure of it. What do you want? The clamor of our bloodthirsty crowds reaches every corner of the wasteland. But I'll pretend that your ignorance doesn't offend me, stranger. This is the Thorn. Here's where the strong make a name for themselves. And the weak are fed to the jaws of hell. You can bet on the contenders. Or, if you have what it takes, be one of the contenders. Be warned. The Thorn demands respect. Break the rules, or offend me in any way, and I'll gut you open for all to see. What do you want to know? The rules are simple. My creatures fight for our pleasure. You can bet on a contender, and earn double if you choose the victor. But you can get a bigger share if you risk your skin in the thorn. Win a fight, and I'll give you a meaty cut of the earnings. I won't tolerate anyone that interferes with the fights. Offend me, and your blood will be the next to spill. Other than that, anything goes. Rad scorpions against fiends. You got it. Best of luck and enjoy the carnage.
Time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Welcome back, stranger. Ask and you might get an answer. New Vegas has many faces, stranger. Despite everything, it shall never be whole. When the land hunts you, when fighting for survival is the norm, your neighbors become either saviors or enemies. Westside is a part of New Vegas, just as much as it's a part of the wasteland. In the end, stranger, we need them both to continue making our fate. Westside attracts all sorts of travelers, including merchants and farmers. They come here to exchange their goods or to seek protection. Our community provides enough food, clothes, weapons, and medicine to encourage trade and to arm our defenses. The Thorn demonstrates, beyond anything else, that we're self-sufficient. Our desert blood has overcome even the strongest beasts of the wasteland. Westside is a part of New Vegas, just as much as it's a part of the wasteland. And the I'm listening. What do you want to know? My creatures are expensive to find, expensive to raise, and expensive to maintain. If your pleasure is to see them bleed at your will, I'll oblige only after my costs are covered, stranger. Those costs will change depending on your choice of fighters. Also, I'll only allow fair fights in the Thorn. I'll help you set up good matches. You pay, you bet, and I bring you the most delightful spectacle on this world. Are we clear? I'm listening. What do you want to know? Even if I trusted you, I'd not share my secrets just for your pretty face, stranger. The Thorn's a sacred ground, a source of awe. Here we truly rule over the forces of nature, for once. These beasts are slaves to their instincts and hunger for blood. That's a good enough answer for everyone, and it'll do for you, too. Our creatures come from the farthest reaches of the wasteland. The Thorn takes care of them, until the time to spill their blood comes. We constantly replenish our stock, to keep this holy ground soaked red. Only a few brave ones ever earn the honor of serving the Thorn. Think you have what it takes? Hmm. Alright. Prove your worth, and I'll reward your service. The Thorn needs newborn specimens that will one day grow to honor us with their blood. Bring me a dozen giant mantises' eggs. If you accomplish this, I might gift you with greater tasks in the future. You'll find egg-carrying mantises in the wasteland, but a wise hunter would search at a mantis's breeding ground, like the nearby ruins of Vault 22. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. What do you... What's on your mind? Bold, as it pleases the Thorn and me. But it does take more than that to earn my admiration. You speak like a hunter, yet only actions prove one's worth. The Thorn requires a tribute of blood, and so do I. 
Bring me a dozen giant mantises' eggs. If you accomplish this, I might gift you with greater tasks in the future. I'm listening. What's on your mind? The Thorn is my master, not the other way around. I live to make our kin able to transcend their limitations. Our land is harsh and hostile. Our lives are cheap and fragile. Death is our assured fate. Strike him when least we expect it. The Thorn awakens us to the truth. Here we escape from our bonds and choose the moment of death against the will of destiny. The land does not care about petty squabbles among lesser men. I don't care about that either. In the end, the people of New Vegas will continue to live and die here. It matters not who their self-appointed master is. I'm listening. What do you want to know? Rad scorpions against fiends. You got it. Best of luck and enjoy the carnage.